608,000 new COVID cases were reported yesterday. Meanwhile, a group of bipartisan governors, uh, that would be a, a bipartisan group of governors actually, uh, told President Biden to start moving away, their words, from the pandemic. Governor Mike Dunleavy was at that meeting. He's the Republican governor of Alaska and joins us now. When, he, when the, it was suggested we should now start moving away from COVID, what was the president's response? Well, I, I, I'm not sure. I, you know, uh, Stuart, uh, first of all, thanks for having me on. But um, I, I think you have elements of the federal government and, and organizations associated with the federal government, whether it's the CDC, FDA. We also heard Dr. Gottlieb speak. We heard folks speak um, at this meeting yesterday. They're, they're still doesn't, they don't seem to be on the same page, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I know that many of uh, the Republican governors have moved on beyond the virus for some time now. And um, that was part of the discussion that we had with the White House and others in our meetings here in Washington is um, it's past time for us to move on. We have to move on. The Omicron uh, variant is not as uh, lethal as the Alpha variant was. We understand much more about the, uh, the virus. And uh, quite frankly, um, you have both Republican and Democratic governors saying it's uh, we got to get this behind us because we have so much work to do to make up right. for the, uh, the losses over the past two years. Do you have uh, mask and uh, vax mandates in Alaska? No, no, we came out early on. We never did have vax mandates yeah. and we never had uh, we never had statewide mask mandates in the state of Alaska. Yeah. Um, well, two of our major cities imposed ma uh, uh, mask mandates, but no vaccine mandates in the state of Alaska. We uh, we've made it clear that we are not going to support that. I'm told that other governors at that meeting at the White House wanted action on the southern border. What was the president's yes. response to that? Um, you know, it just, uh, it's just kind of a discussion that I wasn't sure that uh, there, was, there was anything definitive that came out of it. I mean, it, I, think it's, um, I think it's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, clear to everybody that open borders and having folks flood across the borders is not necessarily good for the country, the states, uh, our economy, our schools, our, our medical, uh, medical establishment. Um, and it's the, the, these folks are coming over, and if you really do care or do believe that the virus is an issue, they're coming over unvaccinated, and then they're being it's, airlifted to other states in the country. So it makes no sense. It doesn't sound like you got much out of that meeting on two very important issues. Uh, nothing definitive moving forward, I would say. That's, that's for sure. Let's do it. Okay. Well, look, thanks for reporting on this to us because we're interested in the border and COVID and vax mandates and what have you. Thanks for being here, Governor. We appreciate it. See you again soon. Great to be here, Stuart. Thanks, yes, sir. You got it.